Hello and welcome to the show. When Nancy Pelosi announced that she would seek a formal impeachment inquiry of President Donald Trump, social media couldn't stop making memes and tweets. The possible impeachment is a serious situation, but sometimes jokes are needed even in the most serious of times. Among the leading jokes was a revival of the Stop Calling Me Orange meme, along with a lot of searches and tweets about Trump impeachment recipes. The Stop Calling Me Orange meme resurfaced. One of the first memes to surface was an old stool, Stop Calling Me Orange meme. It reads, Stop Calling Me Orange, hashtag impeach. It's a play on words with the idea that Trump is saying, I'm impeach, not orange, but it's actually asking to be impeached. The joke's been around a while. You can find it in tweets all the way back to early 2017 or before that. But of course, they're resurfacing again. At one point, hashtag impeach the MF was number three, on the U in the US. People searched for impeachments and tweeted impeachment recipes. One of the top searches after the impeachment inquiry was announced was a search for Trump impeachments. And right along with that were tweets sharing recipes for Trump impeachment drinks and desserts. Trump impeachments are actually peach flavored mints that you can buy on Amazon. The description reads, do you bad mouth people, drop one of these peach flavoured mints on your tongue and you'll make friends. Create a better environment, trust us, it's time to get rid of that offensive mouth, it's practically criminal, really, it's got to go. One tin costs $4.95 and they have a 4.5 star rating on Amazon with 59 reviews. But those weren't the only impeachments people were interested in. On Twitter, a lot of impeachment recipes were shared. There was this recipe for impeachment ice cream. And this uh, refreshing recipe for the impeachment was shared. It calls for vodka, peach soju, peach lacroix and peach puree. Some people were quick to celebrate with impeachment punch. If drinks aren't your style, some people are making double chocolate impeachment cookies. And despite rumours circulating again that Ben and Jerry's made an impeachment flavoured ice cream, Snopes still rates that rumour as false. Of course, despite all the jokes, this is a serious time in America. Political leaders are seeking to know if President Donald Trump pressured Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky into investigating Joe Biden and his family, the Washington Post reported. The allegation is that Trump might have withheld $250 million in aid until they agreed to investigate Biden and his son Hunter Biden. Trump, meanwhile, has said that he never said he would only offer military aid if the country investigated Biden. Trump says that he will release unredacted transcripts of his phone call that will defend his side. Vice President Mike Pence has said that everything is a distraction from the possible wrongdoing by Joe Biden. In a talk with Fox News, he referenced a 2016 comment by Biden with, about withholding $1 billion in loan guarantees until the President of Ukraine agreed to fire its prosecutor. Some have alleged that the prosecutor was investigating a company tied to Hunter Biden at the time. With all that in mind, some Democrats are now pressing for impeachment proceedings. Republicans are not convinced. It's not clear what will happen next. Thank you.